And so really in a in a good groove right now and like the way he's playing along with some of the other guys. I guess uh, a little bit of, I don't know if it's luck to say, but a little bit of uh, good fortune for your group as Dodge City's dropped back-to-back games uh, against Cali and Colby. So now uh, only a half game separates you from first place in the Jayhawk. I'm curious, Coach, and I'm not really sure what kind of answer I'm going to get here, but for a game like this where the winning team tonight gets first place in the Jayhawk, at least as of now, uh, it it has after 28 years of coaching, does that still amp you up a little bit more than just the average game, or do you kind of approach every game the same way now? No, it definitely does. Um, you know, we that's one of our goals every year with the team is uh, to try to be the best team in the conference, and we've done it a lot over the years. We've been fortunate, but uh, you know, this team is one of those teams that's good enough to to be at the top, and you just got to go out there and prove it, and it's. It's really difficult in this league because you know the success we've had over the years we get people's best shots and uh you know dodge now has experienced that a little bit the last two games and it was actually uh, barton county uh that beat them on a last second shot and then they lost to cowley at home the other day uh but dodge has been the top team in the in the conference and people are getting up to play them and and yeah so they've lost two in a row coming in here and we kept our position where you know we've done our job on the road and uh so it's for first place and and it was still a lot of games to go but it's nice to have a game of this importance and see how you guys are going to react to it absolutely you go back to the first time these two teams met coach it was your first loss of the season happened in a tough way in overtime and uh if I remember correctly, uh, big big reason for why uh, this team was unable to close out that game and ended up falling in overtime. It was one of the uh, first times this year that we saw the free throws become a problem for this group. Yeah, they definitely were a problem that game. We were 22 for 38, and we lose in overtime um, out there. And played uh, played good enough offensively. Um, Dodge is a good offensive team too. I mean, it's uh, it's going to be a high level game tonight. Um, both teams like to play at a faster pace, and, and these guys got some really good guards. Um, I think our guys will be motivated to try to set things right uh, from the first game, and uh, we kind of felt like we gave one away out there, um, but uh, that's in the past, and so I think our guys will be motivated to play this game. Coach, you mentioned the guard play of this team. They love to play fast. They love to score points. They have four different guards on this team that average at least 11 points, none bigger than one of the top freshmen in the Jayhawk and Jason Edwards. He had 37 against you guys the first time. Uh, what are you, what are you uh, kind of game planning for defensively to maybe slow down Jason Edwards? Yeah, he's he, he's just really aggressive. He's averaging, I think, close to 25 points a game. Um, shoots a lot. Uh, but he's very aggressive. He comes down in transition, and he'll pull up from three. He'll come down, no passes, and drive it in he's uh he's a guy that we just got to be alert right away when he gets the ball that he's got a scoring mentality and he's good at it obviously to average 25 points a game he, i mean shooting's one thing but making them's another and he obviously makes a lot of shots um but you know as you mentioned we, he's not the only one they got some other guys that can really score it also and uh just like garden city they're they're starting five um uh, is really good uh, and they play a lot of minutes. And uh, we, we're just going to have to be on our game defensively, as we were the other night at Garden, and uh, do our job. And, you know, obviously you have a focus on Edwards, but, you know, they got other guys that can score too, so we're going to have to have multiple guys doing a good job on the defensive end. Coach, appreciate your time. As always, last thing I have for you here, for those that maybe missed the first game out, of course, in Dodge City that are coming to Nellis tonight or that are going to be tuning into the game, what what can you what can you tell them about how these two teams match up? What can you tell them maybe about the coaching matchup stuff like that? How can they get ready for such an important game like you said? Well, I mean, Brad Witherspoon, the coach at Dodge, it's his first year at at uh, Dodge, but he's not new to the Jayhawk Conference. He was a longtime assistant for Fletch out at Barton County, so he's been in the Jayhawk Conference, and then he had coaching experience down at Tonkwa last year as a head coach. So he's doing a great job, obviously, to put their team in position that they're they're in. But uh, yeah, I mean, people should be excited about watching this game because it's going to be a fast-paced game. A lot of good offensive players out there on the floor. 
um, two teams fighting for first place, so it should be a lot of excitement out there. We can't wait for it. It's coming up on US 98. Coach Jay Herkelman, good enough to join us. Coach, thanks so much for the time. Best of luck tonight. Thanks, Jay. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Have you or do you know someone who has been caught in an out-of-town online mortgage trap? Online mortgage companies are easy to apply with and send your money to. But too often, your financing hasn't arrived by the time you need it, and there's no one available to answer your questions. Applying for a home loan online with Community State Bank is just as simple as the out-of-town online mortgage company. Plus, we're always available to answer any questions and have your money ready when you need it. Visit OurLocalBank.com to apply any time, day or night. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Getting ready for game number two of our doubleheader tonight between Coffeyville and Dodge City. We're going a little bit out of order here in between the games, but we just heard from Jay Herkelman getting ready for the second game. And now we're going to hear from Lady Raven head coach Tony Turner. Coach, thanks so much for the time. How are you? Oh, just, you know, tough one after a tough loss like that. And uh, just, you know, kind of work on next, next play. Absolutely. Coach, something I took away, and maybe this is me trying to be a glass half, glass half full guy here in this situation, but uh, it really felt like there was no talent gap between these two teams. They were back and forth all night long. I think the biggest lead of the game might have been like 10 or 11, but it really felt like most of the game was played within five or six points. So it has to make you feel good that if there is a third matchup, maybe a little bit later on in playoff time, that your team can really go toe-to-toe with anyone in the Jayhawks. Well, that's what I told them before the game. I said, talent-wise, I think we match them talent for talent. It was, it was, it it was going to come down to who wanted the game the most and who were going to do who was going to do the little things to, to win the game. And I felt like, you know, Dodge did all the little things right to win the game. And we had several chances to take the lead, and we just came down to make some bonehead plays. Coach, a player that did not play the first time you these two teams matched up, but played and played well tonight was Bailey Lehman, 20.7 rebounds, uh, shot the ball extremely well, especially in that first half, really gave you guys a spark offensively. It just seemed like a different offense, obviously, than the first matchup with Bailey out there for you. Well, yeah, she took some good shots and made some threes, and she's definitely a presence out there, and um, she did a great job tonight, you know, and she's just now still trying to get her rhythm back, and as she gets her rhythm, she, the things will happen more. It will be much better. Coach, a chance to bounce back against Colby on Saturday, and we look forward to it. Thanks for your time. Thank you. All right, we'll be back in two minutes here on US 98. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicalogist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicalogist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicalogist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. At CRMC Medical Group, our primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health, as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. Helping you move forward. That's what Coffeeville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year or just want to expand your horizons. 
Coffeyville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeyville.edu. We are Coffeyville Community College. Red Ravens Dodge City round two coming up here in about two and a half minutes on KUSN and YouTube. I'm Shane Neal. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Game one, 73-66 Dodge took it, but it was a fantastic game. We expect more of the same here in game two, hopefully with a CCCU victory. Let's thank our sponsors here before we get started here tonight. Big thank you to Derailed Commodity, Coffeeville Community College, Romans Outdoor Power, Community State Bank, Medical Lodge, and Coffeeville Regional Medical Center. A couple minutes away from lineups and tip-off. Before we get into that, I'm going to bring on Stephen Kyler. Stephen. What's up, guys? First time these two teams met. It went to overtime, and a big reason for that was Coffeeville failing to make free throws down the stretch. That's something they're going to have to be better at tonight. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And a little lack of communication there, a little bit on the floor, but all in all, it was a great performance, and I was very thrilled at what they did, especially with Bailey Lehman coming back from injury and just playing like she did tonight, along with Jordan Connor stepping up and all those other players. They did a great job. I'm not mad at all. I mean, they're a ranked team, and they proved it tonight. Well, it's like Tony just said here a couple moments ago. I mean, talent, they match up with everyone, I think. Yeah. Talent for talent. Uh, it's really just going to be about execution as we move forward towards the latter part of the sta- uh, season. And yeah, absolutely. Can they, make the, can they make the little plays to win the game? we got a great crowd on hand for us here yes, sir. at Nellis Hall. One more thing for you, Stephen, before we get this one started. Jason Edwards, one of the best scorers in the conference, averaged 23 a game. He had 37 the first time these two teams met. I think we're going to see a lot of Nate Johnson on him. I think we could see a little bit of... Uh, Maybe Amari Haney or Cam Shell on him, but maybe even Brittingham. they got to find a way to slow down Jason Edwards tonight. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Prevent him from going to the basket or shooting the three. And I would also like to give a shout-out to my dog. Happy birthday, Lucy. She turned 13. And I'd like to give a shout-out to my rec team that I help assistant coach. There you go. Well, that, while Dirk Andrews gives us the starting lineups, we're going to step away for 60 seconds when we come back. Starting lineups, tip off. Here from Nellis Hall, don't go anywhere. It's US 98. This is from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Have you or do you know someone who has been caught in an out-of-town online mortgage trap? Online mortgage companies are easy to apply with and send your money to, but too often your financing hasn't arrived by the time you need it and there's no one available to answer your questions. Applying for a home loan online with Community State Bank is just as simple as the out-of-town online mortgage company. Plus, we're always available to answer any questions and have your money ready when you need it. Visit OurLocalBank.com to apply any time, day or night. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Getting ready to get this one started inside Nellis. All the crowd is having a great time. And so are we here on US 98 and YouTube. I'm Shane Neal. Appreciate you hanging out with us here tonight. Starting lineup's coming in just a moment. We're getting ready for tip-off as well. First for the visiting Dodge City Conquistadors. Again, winner of this game tonight. First place in the Jayhawk when we go home. These two teams separated by half a game for Dodge City. Number one, the redshirt freshman guard, Jason Edwards. A 6'6 guard, number four, Jacoby Seabach. A 6'2 guard, number 10, Chris Robinson. A 6'1 guard, number 11, DJ Jones. And a 6'8 forward, number 12, Cam Mulray. 
For the Red Ravens, it is a 6'5 guard, number two, Hayden Brittingham. A 6'9 forward, number four, Jordan Wilde. A 6'10 guard, or 5'10 guard, excuse me, number 11, Camian Shell. A 6'3 guard, number 15, Nathan Johnson. And a 6'3 guard, number 35, Sodi Nafliotis. Dodge City in the purple with the gold trim. Red Ravens in the white with the red trim. Winner takes top spot in the Jayhawk. Wilde and Seabock ready to jump. And here we go in the nightcap from Nellis Hall. Ravens win the tip. Cam Shell brings it up. Nate Johnson has scored 20 in two of his last three games. He has emerged as a huge player offensively. Wilde hands it off to Johnson. Johnson to Shell. Shell had it stripped, and here come the Conquistadors the other way, and that layup is good for Edwards. He had 37 the first time these two met. He's got two early in this one. Dodge City gets a turnover and a transition score. Wilde nearly lost it there. Wilde now on the baseline finding Sodi. They work it around to Johnson. Johnson the drive, the spin. Johnson has to throw it up and nearly went in as he fell. But a rebound for Dodge, and they have the ball with a 2-0 lead. Fast start for the Conquistadors. Here's DJ Jones. Alley-oop, Seabock couldn't control it going up, but got it back and missed the layup. Couple opportunities there from Seabock. He couldn't finish. Brittingham inside is blocked by Seabock, but they'll say Brittingham stepped on the baseline before the shot even went up. Jason Edwards, one of the best scorers in this conference. Six-foot guard out of Atlanta. Here he goes for three. That one's off. Johnson brings it across half court. Two-nothing dodge early in this one. Winner gets first place. Jordan Wilde backing down. Wilde had it taken away by Jones. Up ahead to Edwards. Edwards able to come away with it. Fakes, drives, kicks. Seabock going at Sodi and scores. 4-0 Dodge with 18-15 to go in the first half and a good start for Brad Witherspoon's squad. Dodge City looking to stay atop the conference where they've been all year long. CCC looking to take the conference back. Wildey for three, it's off. Rebound taken by Robinson. And an injury timeout is Mulray. Looks like he might have lost a contact lens over there. That'll bring in Tuscan Anoa. Anoa, a 6'11 freshman from Sydney, Australia. Seabock has two. Edwards has two. 4 nothing dodge early. Pull-up jump shot is strong. Rebound Wildey. That shot missed by Robinson. Shell hands it off to Johnson. Johnson will drive. Kick. Ravens still looking for their first points of the night. Here's Brittingham. Two teams that love to score and play fast. Brittingham and an offensive foul. The call. Charge taken. Hayden Brittingham called for the foul. So we're two and a half minutes in. Red Ravens still with a zero. And Dodge City leads it by four. Anoa hands it off. This is Robinson. Robinson, nice little fake, goes at Wilde and scores. Six nothing dodge, and three different players have scored for the Conquistadors. Johnson down low to Wilde. Anoa called for the reach in foul. Cam Mulray left about two minutes into this one. That's what they called an injury. Looked like he lost a contact lens. Down low, this is Brittingham. Brittingham will go at Robinson. Now kick it. Shell for three. Good. Ravens on the board with a big three from Cam Shell. And the, the crowd already getting noisy after every basket. They know how much this game means. Anoa. 
Robinson, these two teams went to overtime the first time. This time, the winner will leave atop the Jayhawk. Seabock, guarded by Sodi Napliotis. Edwards, going right at Nate Johnson and scores. Four for Edwards early, 8-3 lead for Dodge. Sodi, quick three, no hesitation, a little strong there. Rebound taken by DJ Jones. Alley-oop, Seabock, he couldn't control it. Dodge will be able to reset. Seabock's had two chances at alley-oops. Just has not been able to control it going up. Down low, this is Anoa. Seabock for three, that's off. Rebound, Nate Johnson. Four minutes into this one, eight three, Dodge City the lead. Shell to Brittingham, Brittingham nice little move. Brittingham kicks it, they want a foul, they're not gonna get it. Now Johnson drives, kicks to Wilde, and Wilde puts it in for three. Jay Herkelman upset that wasn't a foul on the Brittingham drive. On Seabock, that shot is good though. That's good by Robinson. Robinson with four now, 10-6. Shell all the way inside. Five for Cam Shell. Ravens leading it by, or down just two now after trailing early in this one, six nothing. This is Tuscan Anoa, it's tipped by Brittingham, stolen by Wilde. Ravens can tie or take the lead. Johnson driving, tying. Nate Johnson, we're not at a 10. Jones all the way inside, has it ripped away. Ravens can take their first lead of the night. Shell, Johnson, Sony back to Johnson for three. And it's short. That would have sent Nellis Hall into an eruption. We're tied at 10, 14.40 to go first half. And Edwards tripped on the way inside. That'll be on Cam Shell. 14.35 to go first half. Our first media timeout of the night. 10-10, our score. Winner gets first. Tensions are high. We're back in 60 on KUSN. Facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicologist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicologist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicologist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. At CRMC Medical Group, our primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health, as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Tied at 10, five and a half minutes into this one here on US 98 and YouTube. Yes. Red Ravens started off down six nothing, but a battle back. Five points early for Cam Shell, three for Jordan Wildey, and a pair for Nate Johnson. Four points for Jason Edwards so far. He's made two of his first three shots for Dodge. He had 37 the first time these two teams met. Javarzie Belton, Isaac, Jackson, Amari, Haney, Landon, Glasper in for the Ravens as they go mass subs. In for Dodge, number three, Jalen Davis. Number 12, Cam Mulray returns, as well as number two, Sean Warrior, in for Dodge City. Edwards, tough shot, and it's off. Rebound, Jackson pulls it down over Davis. Glasper, Ravens looking for their first lead of the night. Six minutes into this one, here's Glasper. Cross court pass to Haney. Haney, nice defense recovery by Dodge. Inside to Jackson, double team comes. Kicks it to Sodi, extra pass Glasper. Dodge playing good perimeter defense here. Eight to shoot, Glasper way downtown, nothing but net. Landing Glasper from the logo. Now the other way comes Dodge and a tough layup inside is good and that's Sean Warrior. 
Jackson hands it off to Sodi. Sodi back to Jackson, little give and go. Hands off to Belton. No, got his own rebound, and Belton is fouled on the way back up. 13.25 to go in this first half. Ravens will go to the free throw line, leading 13 to 12. Belton, two shots here. And his first one up, and good. Red Ravens on a 14-6 run since a 6-0 start for Dodge. Here's Belton. Second free throw coming. It is off. Free throws were a big problem the first time these two teams met. We'll see if CCC can adjust in that department here tonight. Here's Edwards. Edwards hands it off. This is Mulray. Tough shot inside. He missed it. Battle for the rebound. Coming away with it is Glasper. Davis hit the deck. Ravens moving ahead with an extra man advantage. Haney for three, no. Belton got a hand on it, but it's taken away by Sean Warrior. Two point lead for Coffeyville. Winner in first place after tonight. Great crowd on hand in Nellis Hall. Davis, Nalray, now Edwards, guarded by Glasper. Edwards tries to attack, hands it off to Warrior. Warrior with a pump fake. Three seconds in the lane. And a three second call will be called against Tuscan Anoa. Glasper again, Glasper again! Two threes early for Landon Glasper. He's got six, Ravens by five. In a game that Jay Herkelman said it, they feel like is a must have tonight, a revenge game for Coffeyville. And a foul inside will be called against Jackson. Foul is called on Coffeyville's number 23, Isaac Jackson, his first personal foul, third team foul. Jackson, of course, the freshman from Chapman, 6'6", 200 pounds, and he's just gotten better and better as the year's gone on. But there he commits the foul, and Cam Mulray will go to the free throw line. Mulray on the year, a 59% free throw shooter, first one off. Jacoby Seabach returns to the game. For Dodge City. Also in Chris Robinson. One more free throw to come for Mulray. And he gets the second one. 17 to seven run. Coffeyville after trailing six nothing, they lead it by four. This is Belton. No double team comes, Belton. And an offensive foul of the call. Red Raven coaching staff wanted a block. That was called on Coffeyville's number 32, Javarzie Belton, his first personal foul. Well, Belton instead four, called for his foul. first. Nate Johnson. We'll go to the scores table. He'll check in at the next dead ball. Robinson hands off Seabach. And now Edwards gets the handoff, gets a screen. Edwards, crossover move. Back to Mulray for three. It's off. And running down the rebound is Haney. Haney wants to attack. Haney goes right at Mulray. And are they going to call that an and one? They are. Amari Haney. Foul by Mulray. Basket counts. Ravens oh, by six with a free throw to come. Kim Malray, his first personal foul. Back in for Coffeyville, Nate Johnson. Amari Haney, shooting one. Nate Johnson checks back in, and you have to assume for most of the night he will be on Jason Edwards. Back in for Dodge City, DJ Jones. But Edwards will get a brief breather, and now we'll see. Couple substitutions for Dodge as number 11, DJ Jones in, as well as number 24, Honor Bular. Free throw for Haney is good. Seven point lead for the Red Ravens. Chris Robinson hands it off. This is Jones. Jones on the left wing, works it back to the middle. 
Mulray, they're trying to get it to Robinson. They do. Tough shot by Robinson. No. Belton pulls down the rebound. Up ahead to Jackson. Transition. Jackson, no. Johnson cleans it up. Ravens have a nine-point lead. You can tell they're playing like they want first. Time out Dodge. Let's take it with them. Red Ravens, they said they want payback. They've got a nine-point lead early. We'll be back in 60 seconds on KUSN. Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local derailed commodity flooring and furniture. Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. Helping you move forward. That's what Coffeeville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, Coffeeville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeeville.edu. We are Coffeeville Community College. Back here from Nellis Hall, our score 22-13. Red Ravens and Isaac Jackson was just called for his second foul. That will send Mulray to the free throw line and now we'll see Alessani Diallo check in. Jay Herkelman may have to dig a little deeper into his bench tonight than he usually does to try and win a game where the winner gets first. First one is good for Mulray. And for number 25, Al-Husseini Diallo. Al-Husseini Diallo into the game. Diallo, 6'7", 210 pounds. Great from the mid-range. First free throw was good from Cam Mulray, and he's got a second free throw coming. It is good. So two free throws for Dodge. They lead it. Or they trail by seven, excuse me. They did lead by six at the start of this one. Now coming the other way with it, Amari Haney hands off to Johnson. Johnson with the pass to Glasper. Glasper had a quick six off the bench. Now finds Diallo, extra pass, good look. Haney, and it's off. Diallo trying to pull down a rebound and does. Big rebound by Al Husseini Diallo. Three for Glasper, short. And an empty possession for the Red Ravens on that one. Dodge City basketball, they trail by seven. I have a feeling we're gonna be going back and forth all night long. Mulray, Seabock now with it, guarded by Wilde, tries to attack, Seabock banks it in. And that's Kobe Seabock, puts it up and in. And it's good, Johnson hands off to Haney. And Johnson spinning, handing it off. Now they work it back to Glasper. Haney top of the key, quick first step, jump shot, good. Amari Haney wanted a foul call as well, but he'll take the two points, Ravens by seven. Another player that gets better and better as the year goes on, Amari Haney. Poked by Glasper, Mulray able to keep it alive. Three-pointer is too strong there from Bular. Johnson coming the other way, had it poked. A lot of contact being let go by the refs tonight. Bular blocked, but a foul, and Herkelman can't believe it. Haney will be called for the foul. The refs are saying they got him down low. Which must be the case, because up top it was all ball. 9.23 to go, media timeout, 24-17, Red Ravens lead. Dodge City will have free throws when we come back in 60 seconds on US 98 and YouTube. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Roman's Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville 
or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Have you or do you know someone who has been caught in an out-of-town online mortgage trap? Online mortgage companies are easy to apply with and send your money to, but too often your financing hasn't arrived by the time you need it and there's no one available to answer your questions. Applying for a home loan online with Community State Bank is just as simple as the out-of-town online mortgage company. Plus, we're always available to answer any questions and have your money ready when you need it. Visit OurLocalBank.com to apply any time, day or night. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Ravens 9.23 to go in this first quarter. Coffeyville shooting 50% from the floor early in this one. Battle for first place in the Jayhawk. I'm Shane Eel. This is US 98. Amari Haney has five. Cam Shell has five. Landon Glasper leads the Ravens with six. First free throw from Buar rims out. Bular, a 6'5 freshman out of British Columbia. And he splits the pair. Six point lead, uh, excuse me, the uh, Conquistadors now at the line tonight are four of six. Johnson gets it to Shell, Shell to Sodi. All starters back in with the exception of Diallo in for Brittingham. Cam Shell hit the first shot of the night. Now Johnson down low to Diallo. Diallo's got a mismatch. Diallo trying to take advantage. Goes up, draws the foul on DJ Jones. So Diallo will go to the free throw line. 8.58 to go in the first half. Diallo again, just such a good mid-range shooter. He can step out and knock down a three every once in a while. Also a very athletic forward. First free throw though, in and out. Ravens now two out of four at the line so far tonight. They went 22 of 38 in the first matchup between these two teams. And the second free throw coming for Diallo, it is good. So both teams shooting free throws in the 60% so far through 11 minutes. Seabach. Pull up, jump shot, short, rebound Johnson. Cam Shell, nice fake pass, the drive, the kick, good look for Johnson, it's good! Double digit lead for the Red Ravens, Nate Johnson from downtown. 28-18, Red Ravens. Here's Chris Robinson inside Mulray, Mulray spinning. Tough shot, no good, rebound Johnson. Ravens have momentum, they move ahead. Johnson hands off to Shell. Shell back to Johnson, fakes the three this time. He'll drive, pull up, and that shot off. Wildy got a hand on it, but it's tapped to Chris Robinson. Dodge City down by 10, Bular extra pass to Jones. Jones cut off by Diallo, and now a kick out. Robinson, Jones, Jason Edwards about to check back in. But his team needs him. They're down by 10. Shell coming up after the missed shot. Shell the kick. Sodi. Back to Shell. Good look. And Cam Shell. His second three of the half. Largest lead of the night for the Red Ravens. 31 18 with seven and a half to go in the first half. Bular had it poked by Sodi. Got it back. Down low, Mulray. Going at Johnson, missed the shot. Diallo a rebound, Dodge City's gone cold. Here's Shell. Shell has eight. Wildy looking for another three, not that time. Here comes Robinson, coast to coast, and Boulard able to finish inside. That's a good line. 6.49 to go, first half, Red Ravens by 11. Brittingham and Edwards, two of the biggest stars in the Jayhawk Conference, will check in at the next dead ball. Wildy backing down, Wildy going up with the hook shot, it's too strong, rebound Mulray. Dodge City trying to have their turn in this back and forth affair. Drive, no good, offensive rebound, Seabach, and it's good. Kobe Seabach puts it up and in. Nine point game. 
will be with it now. And this is Sodi Nafliotis. Wilde. Wilde's missed shots each of the last two possessions. And now finally a foul is called against Boulard. Jake Odom, Abdullah Lusacy on the bench simultaneously going. It's about time. Big subs here. We'll see Tuscan Anaya back in, as well as Jason Edwards, Sean Warrior, and Jay Sean Jones in for the Ravens, Landon Glasper, as well as Hayden Brittingham. Inbounds goes to Wildy. Wildy tries to hand off to Glasper, but a foul will be called there against Sean Warrior. Warrior, a sophomore from nearby Wichita. Winner of this game gets first place in the Jayhawk. Ravens right now lead it by nine. They have the basketball. Shell, nice crossover move. Hands off Wildy, back to Shell. Shell and Edwards, two outstanding players going back and forth. And it looks like a foul was called down low, and that'll be against Edwards. Called on Doc City, number one, Jason Edwards, his first personal foul. First foul of the night on Edwards. And now we'll have Cam Shell at the free throw line. Eight points already tonight for Cam Shell. He's been a scorer. Normally, this season, Cam Shell a pass for his point guard, but tonight, he stepped up and he's been able to knock down some shots for Red, the Red Ravens. That first free throw, though, rims out. Second free throw coming for Coffeyville and Cam Shell, and it's good. 32-22, our score, 5.45 left in this first half. Jones, hands off. And now this is Jason Edwards. Pull up jumper, tough shot, it's good. That's good, good by Edwards. And that's just how talented of a player Jason Edwards is. Sodi Nafliotis coming the other way, he's cut off. And that pass deflected and taken away. Jayshon Jones got a hand on it. Edwards coming the other way, what's the call? It'll be a blocking foul, I believe, on Cam Shell. Excuse me, it'll be on Glasper, and it will put Dodge City in the bonus. Edwards will go to the free throw line. He's a 78% free throw shooter. Averaging 22 points per game is Jason Edwards. First one is good. Dodge City has clawed back within seven. Amari Haney will check in for the Ravens. Coming in for Noff Pleiotis. Second free throw here for Edwards. It's good. Ravens led it 31-18, but since then an 8-1 run for Dodge. Shell down low, Wildy. Wildy trying to get going. He goes up. And he left it short this time. Jordan Wilde just not having a great first half like we're accustomed to seeing. That shot will go. Dodge back within four, and Jason Edwards starting to take over. Brittingham hands trying to get it to Glasper. Now Brittingham takes it himself, gets it to Shell, down low to Wilde. Wilde guarded by Tuscan and Noah. Haney, good look for three. Haney's shot too strong. Rebound cleared out. Hand Brittingham got it back, but he's poked by Edwards. It will stay with the Red Ravens. With a 20 second shot clock. Media timeout, 4.38 to go. First half, we've got a good one from Nellis Hall. Coffeyville 32, Dodge City 28. We're back in 60 seconds on US 98 and U2. be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicologist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicologist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicologist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. 
At CRMC Medical Group, our primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Nellis Hall, the place to be on a Wednesday night here in downtown Coffeeville. Red Ravens lead it in this one, 30 hey, I'm Shane Hill. We're here on US 98 and YouTube. Wherever you may be hanging out with us, we do appreciate it. Ravens lead by two. They've led by as much as 13 here in this first half. They will have the basketball. Fresh shot clock. Hayden Brittingham. Quick first step. Hands off Glasper. Glasper shot fake. Steps back. Now Brittingham. Brittingham guarded by Jayshon Jones. Now Haney will try to attack baseline. Had it poked. And what's the call there? He stepped on the baseline, and that's a turnover forced by Dodge. A team that was down 31-18. They're on a 10-1 run, and they're going to get the ball back. A chance to cut it to a one-score game. Dodge City trying to stay atop the Jayhawk. They've been there since December. Brittingham tipped it, took it away. Great steal there by Hayden Brittingham. Here they come the other way. And that shot is up and good. Landon Glasper puts it up and in. And the Ravens stretch their lead to six. Other end, Edwards quick response. And that's just Jason Edwards, one of the best scorers the Jayhawk Conference has to offer. Glasper. Down low, Brittingham. Glasper steps back, puts it up, and puts it in. Landon Glasper knocks it down for three. His third triple of the half. Ravens stretch their lead back up to seven. No good there. Dodge City coming, excuse me, Coffeeville coming the other way after the Dodge miss. Elevation from Glasper, but he's blocked by Sean Warrior. And the Wichita kid makes his presence known. Raven send it. Glasper again. His fourth triple of the half. Ravens back to a 10 point lead, and Landon Glasper putting the offense on his back. Mulray. Jones. And now DJ Jones. DJ Jones and Jayshon Jones bout out there, and that's going to be a, a blocking foul. Brittingham for the second time tonight. Called for a foul down low. number two, Hayden Brittingham, his second personal foul. 18 foul of the half. And now free throws coming up here for DJ Jones. We'll see Javarzi a belt and check back in as Brittingham stuck in foul trouble here in this first half. 2.43 to go in the half, and first free throw was good for Jones. Jones on the season, a 72% free throw shooter. Dodge City 10 and 3 on the season in Jayhawk play. Red Ravens 10 and 4. The winner tonight leaves in first place. Right now it's the Red Ravens by 8 after a pair of free throws from DJ Jones. Shell, that'll be a foul against Jones. Foul has called on Dodge City's number 11, DJ Jones. His second personal foul. That's the second on Jones, a key piece of the Dodge backcourt. Picks up his second foul. And Cam Shell, 111, puts the other 11 on the free throw line as Cam Shell will get two free throws. Excuse me, the one and one. Shell, one of two at the line tonight. First one good. Shell having a nice night at the line now, 10 points. 
in this first half. Cam Shell not really a scorer, but tonight he stepped up in that role. And he knocks down a pair of free throws. Two and a half to go in the first half. Ravens still with a 10 point lead. Malray hands it off. This is DJ Jones. Down low, Malray. Beltman will be down there. Seabach for three. It's strong. Jones, they want it over the back ball. They don't get it. Malray inside, trying to hand it off to Seabach. Pass goes to Mulray, that shot is strong. Seabach pulls down a rebound, goes right at Wilde, puts it in. That's his good by Seabach. So Dodge, once again, will not let this lead get out of hand. They're back within eight, a minute 47 to go in the first half. Glasper. Haney. Haney will drive and kick. Glasper looking for three, number five, and it goes! Go Glasper! Good for a Red Raven three! Belton trying to get back. Mulray was denied by Javarzier Belton. 90 seconds to go in the half, 45-34. Ravens up 11 and the crowd loving it. Inbounds pass. And Seabach missed it. Warrior on the glass had it poked. Seabach comes away with it and puts it up and in. Good by Seabach. Kobe Seabach trying to keep Dodge City close. They're down nine. Minute eight to go. This is Haney. Glasper. Five threes in this first half for Landon Glasper. Now Belton down low, going right at Mulray. And Belton, uh, you cannot defend that. Javar Zia Belton. Quickly the other way. That shot is blocked as well. Ravens playing with a little bit of revenge on the mind tonight. Seabach hands it off. This is Robinson with the reverse. Pretty shot. Pretty finish inside by Chris Robinson. Dodge and Coffeyville going back and forth. Ravens by nine. Haney. Now hands it off to Shell. 30 seconds to go in the half. 16 seconds separate shot and game clock. Shell, eight to shoot for the Ravens. Shell the drive. Shell bumped. Got it. Cam, Cam Shell, what a half he's had. Shot clock is off. Ravens got a poke. Seabach the drive and the score. Seabach and Edwards single handedly keeping Dodge close. 49 40. A quick timeout by Herkelman will take it with him. 49 49 seconds left. We're back in 30 seconds. Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local derailed commodity flooring and furniture, Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. Nellis Hall having a blast here in this first half. Ravens have put up 49. With still nine seconds on the clock, they have the basketball. They lead it by nine over the Dodge City Conquistadors. Winner of tonight's game, first place in the Jayhawk. Still, of course, after tonight for the Red Ravens, they will have 11 games to go, but always feels good to be in first. Landon Glasper. Has had a big half. Cam Shell's had a big half as well. Shell has it. Five seconds. Guarded by Robinson. Shell, quick attack. Shell, floater, good. Shell again. Ravens by 11 at the break. And Cam Shell has turned into Kyrie Irving in the first half with his finishes around the rim. Our score at the break, 51-40. Red Ravens with a double-digit lead at the half. 
They're trying to win their fourth consecutive, fifth consecutive game, excuse me. And they have a great start here tonight. Up 11 on first place, Dodge City. Let's step away for nine minutes. When we come back, we'll break down the first half, get you ready for the second half. First place on the line, Red Ravens by 11. We're back in nine on US 98. Forward. That's what Coffeeville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, Coffeeville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs. Ladies, the floor is yours. to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicalogist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicalogist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicalogist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. Time for a look at your community calendar on US 98. This community calendar is brought to you by the David W. Barnes Funeral Home. It's time once again for the 10th annual Taste of Soup with the Coffeyville Public Library. It's coming up on Thursday, February 2nd from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. Tickets are $5 per person, and for that you'll receive two cups of soup, a drink, and crackers. You can come to the Coffeyville Public Library to place your to-go order as well. Types of soup available are cheeseburger soup, chicken noodle soup, and cheesy potato soup, and more. And deliveries will be made to local businesses with a minimum order of $30. And those deliveries will be made by 11 a.m. Once again, it's a taste of soup coming up at the Coffeeville Public Library on Thursday, February 2nd from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. This has been your community calendar on US 98. This community calendar has been a service of the David W. Barnes Funeral Home. At CRMC Medical Group, our primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health, as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. 
620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local derailed commodity flooring and furniture. Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. You can count on US 98 for severe weather coverage. When a storm is getting ready to blow in, we'll keep you up to date. That includes closings and cancellations due to winter weather. Schools, businesses, and events will let you know when they're canceled or postponed due to winter storms. Severe weather coverage, along with closings and cancellations, are brought to you by Eck Heat and Air and H&H Roofing. Here on KUSN 98.1 FM. Helping you move forward. That's what Coffeyville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, Coffeyville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeyville.com. Edu. We are Coffeeville Community College. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Does your business need radio communications facilities? KCD Towers has tower space available. They can meet your needs in Chautauqua, Montgomery, and Labette counties in southeast Kansas, and Osage, Washington, and Nevada counties in northeast Oklahoma with expanded coverage across the area. Tower space for cellular or two-way communications? Let's talk. Call Kevin Potter, 918-336-1001, or go online to BartlesvilleRadio.com and click on Rent Tower Space under the Contact tab. Start your communications outreach today. Have you or do you know someone who has been caught in an out-of-town online mortgage trap? Online mortgage companies are easy to apply with and send your money to, but too often your financing hasn't arrived by the time you need it and there's no one available to answer your questions. Applying for a home loan online with Community State Bank is just as simple as the out-of-town online mortgage company. Plus, we're always available to answer any questions and have your money ready when you need it. Visit OurLocalBank.com to apply any time, day or night. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicalogic Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicalogist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicalogist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. Want a job that's never dull? Every day is different. You have flexibility. You can set your daily schedule. Do you like to make a difference in helping people, their businesses, and our community? Or well, perhaps we have a position for you. Radio and digital media is exciting. Find out about joining our team. We have a family culture, and we want you to have a career with us. Being a radio sales executive requires a car, driver's license, a desire to learn, and to help others. It's a full-time salaried position with benefits and commission. Simply pick up an application from our website. The job is based out of Bartlesville or Coffeeville. Your choice. Equal Opportunity Employer. At CRMC Medical Group, our primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Halfway through this one here inside Nellis Hall. Our score 51-40. Red Ravens lead it over Dodge City. The winner gets first place tonight 
in the Jayhawk. Before we go over first half stats and uh, scores, uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors here tonight on KUSN and YouTube. Shout out to Derailed Commodity, Coffeeville Community College, Romans Outdoor Power, Community State Bank, Medical Lodge, and Coffeeville Regional Medical Center. Much appreciated as we've had a lot of fun here tonight at Nellis Hall and couldn't do it without any of you. Red Ravens lead it by 11 in that first half. Their largest lead's been 13. There's been one lead change, one tie, so Red Ravens have led for a majority of the half. The Red Ravens hit nine three-pointers in that first half. Let's look at the stats, shall we? 41% in that first half for Dodge City. They have not hit a three yet tonight, and 80% from the free throw line. Red Ravens, 55% from the floor, 53% from three, 67% from the line. Dodge City winning the rebound battle. Coffeeville with eight assists in that first half. Red Ravens, eight turnovers. Dodge City with five. Leading scorers for the Conquistadors, 12 points for Jason Edwards, 12 points for Kobe Seabach as well. They've combined for 24 of that 40 points. Also six points from Chris Robinson, three from Cam Mulray, and three from Abnur Bular. For the Red Ravens, 17 in the first half from Landon Glasper, 15 from Cam Shell, seven from Nate Johnson, and five from Amari Haney. Three and a half minutes to go until the second half. Both teams getting some warm-up shots up. We're going to get a little bit of a breather ourselves. We'll step away for three minutes. When we come back, second half action from Nellis Hall. Red Ravens looking to take first tonight. Don't go anywhere. It's US 98. Help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. Helping you move forward. That's what Coffeeville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, Coffeeville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeeville.com. Edu. We are Coffeeville Community College. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Hi, Mike Avey here from Community State Bank in Coffeyville. It's our privilege at Community State Bank to offer agribusiness loans. After all, we're in Kansas, the wheat belt of the nation. And unlike the big banks, we understand agriculture and want to provide a workable financing solution to help your operation. Community State Bank is here to assist you with financing for operating capital, livestock, equipment, or farm real estate. And we're here to help you with the Farm Service Agency Guaranteed Loan. If you need help getting into business of agriculture or looking to expand your business, look to Community State Bank. Community State Bank offers all kinds of business loans, car loans, and more. We make it easy for you. When the need arises, come see us at Community State Bank in Coffeyville on Highway 166 in Buckeye, west of downtown in Coffeyville. We are your community bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medical Lodges Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicalodges.com or at 720 West 1st, Coffeeville. Medical Lodges Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands.
Second half, just about ready to get going here inside Nellis Hall. Game two, the nightcap of our doubleheader. Red Ravens lead at 51-40 over the Dodge City Conquistadors, the winner of tonight's game. First place atop the Jayhawk. And we've had a good one so far here tonight. Landon Glasper Cam and Cam Shell have combined for 32 in the first half. Meanwhile, Jason Edwards and Kobe Seabach have combined for 24. This is DJ Jones giving it to Edwards. Quick first step by Edwards. The attack no good. Seabach tapped it, but Shell comes down with it. And a good stop early for Coffeyville. Ravens have not led the Jayhawk in almost two full months. Hayden Brittingham offensive rebound off the miss. Wildy goes up Jordan and Jordan Wildy with the stuff after the Brittingham offensive rebound. Shell with the steal and he wants a foul. Cam Shell slams the court as he's upset. I think he rolled his ankle. And we're gonna step away for 60 seconds. Injury timeout, we'll be right back. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local derailed commodity flooring and furniture, Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. Helping you move forward. That's what Coffeeville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, Coffeeville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting, fast eight-week classes, or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeeville.edu. We are Coffeeville Community College. Cam Shell getting help to at least his seat as we return here to Nellis Hall. Shell got tangled up on that play. And he's gonna be helped off the floor by a couple of his teammates. He's not able to put any weight on that leg right now. So we hope the best for Cam Shell. Clearly in a lot of pain. And now the Red Ravens are gonna need to do it without their starting point guard. Landon Glasper will come in for Shell. Just 40, 38 seconds into the second half. Cam Shell, who had 15 points in the first half, hurts his ankle. At least we think it's his ankle, maybe his foot, but something in his lower body. And uh, he did not put any weight on it leaving the court. So we hope the best for Cam. But now it's Glasper out there running the point. Johnson drives, kicks, Sody, good look for three, and it's off. And Brittingham will be called for another foul. That's gonna be his third. Hayden Brittingham, can't believe it. Isaac Jackson will come back in the game. So now you've got Shell out with an injury and Brittingham out with foul trouble. And you see a lot of Glasper as well as Nate Johnson and Jordan Wilde. Ravens try to hang on to a 13 point lead without two of their very key pieces. Robinson, nice fake, the drive, the floater, and to it. Cam Robinson, Chris Robinson, excuse me, puts it up and in. Down low to Wildy, Wildy guarded by Tusker and, Tuscan and Noah, and he goes up and gets it to go. Missed that hook shot a couple times in the first half, but gets that one to go, big shot for Wildy. Seabach hands it off to Jones. Jones the spin move, Jones the hop step, and the reverse is short. And Wilde clears it out with a rebound. 55-42 Red Ravens lead. They look to take first place. Glasper, another triple. That one was a little bit of a heat check, no good. Two minutes into this second half, Ravens have matched their largest lead of the night. They lead it by 13. Robinson, nice pass to Seabach. 
who goes right at Will. He can't get it to go. Anoa, Seabock, Jackson, everyone battling for it. And it's ripped down by Dodge. So an extra possession here after all that effort by Anoa and Seabock. Johnson in the face of Robinson. Robinson the drive. Robinson lost it. It will stay with the Conquistadors. It does appear to be the ankle of Cam Shell that is getting taped up over there on the sideline. That's an and one for DJ Jones. <laughs> Foul was called on Sodi Nopliotis. It's a free throw coming for Jones. A chance to cut it back to 10. Jones' free throw is good. 55-45, Red Ravens by 10. But we've seen these two go at it before. We went to overtime the first time these two met. Back and forth we've gone tonight as well. Wouldn't be surprised if we have one come down to the wire once again. Glass for the fake, extra pass, Sodi. Sodi might have gotten away with a little bit of a push off there. Here's Johnson. Johnson, Robinson cuts him off. Sodi with the fake, Sodi puts him on the deck. Jackson goes up and draws a foul. Sodi Nafquiotis snatching ankles in Nellis Hall. Foul was called on Tuscan Anoa. Three throws for Jackson, first one goes. One more free throw coming for Jackson. They lead by 11. And Jackson able to knock them both down. Bringing the ball up now, Robinson, a 12-point lead for Coffeyville. Seabock hands it off. Robinson takes the three, way off. Rebound collected by Jackson. 17 minutes to go in this one. Sodi with the handoff to Glasper. Cam Shell back on the bench, got that ankle taped up. Looks like he's gonna be okay. Will knee for three, that is off. Seabock the rebound. Edwards, no good. Will knee, and now Glasper coming the other way. He's fouled before the shot. That foul was called on Robinson, his first. Sean Warrior will check back in, and as will Cam Shell. Crowd happy to see that Cam Shell is all right. I'm sure Jay Herkelman very happy to see that as well because Shell has been playing at a very high level tonight. Glasper with it, now down low to Wilde. Double team does not come, Wilde will back down. Goes up, puts it in. Jordan Wilde, second hook shot of the half. Ravens with their largest lead of the night, 14 points the edge for Coffeyville. This is DJ Jones, handing it off to Sean Warrior. On the left wing, Warrior works his way back to the middle. Down low, this is Chris Manray goes up and missed the shot. Tapped around, will the rebound. Red Ravens starting to pull away a little bit. See if they can keep it going. Glasper back to Shell. Glasper the drive, the pull up from the free throw line is a little strong. Tapped in off the hand of Wildey out of bounds. Dodge City basketball. 15.45 to go in this one. Ravens have outscored. Dodge in this second half, eight to five so far. We're about four minutes and 23 seconds into the second half. Robinson the drive, Robinson kicks, tries to kick at least, Jackson with the steal. Here comes Shell the other way. Shell rolled his ankle about three minutes ago, but he's back in the game feeling good and Jackson goes up, denied it will stay with the Red Ravens.
Crowd at Nellis Hall has been energetic all night long. First place on the line. Maybe the biggest home game of the year here for Coffeyville. Johnson with the basketball guarded by Warrior. And now looking to get a pass. Tries to get it to Shell. It's deflected out of bounds. It will stay with Coffeyville. 15 on the shot clock. Johnson inbounds to Shell. Cam Shell swings it to Nate Johnson. Johnson to Wildy. Glasper behind the back, hands off Shell. Three to shoot, Shell lets it rip. Got it! Cam Shell again from downtown. Ravens are clicking on offense. They lead by 17. Cam Shell having the best scoring night of his season. Jones kicks. Trying to answer his warrior. That'll go. Big response by Dodge, and they'll take a timeout. Red Ravens shooting the ball at a high level. Cam Shell appears to be all right. 62-48. Red Ravens chasing first place. We're back in 60 seconds. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Roman's Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Buying a home? Refinancing? Apply for a home loan anytime, anywhere with Community State Bank. Our online mortgage tool is easy to use you can be pre-approved in minutes, and our lenders are always ready to answer any questions. Visit www.ourlocalbank.com on your computer or mobile device and get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back here Back at Ellis Hall, 1444 to go in this one. Red Ravens lead it 62-48 here on KUSN and YouTube. However you're hanging out with us tonight. We appreciate you hanging out with us tonight. We've had a fun one here all night long. Red Ravens leading it by 14. Jay Herkelman said before the game, this was a payback game, a redemption game for a game they felt they let slip away back in December. And tonight, they look good, and they can take first place if they can hang on to this lead for 14 minutes. Cam Shell rolled his ankle first minute of the second half but he's back in and he's played lights out here tonight Shell gets a screen Shell the kick Glasper down low to Wildy Wildy goes up Wildy fouled and Jordan Wildy will go to the free throw line Wildy looks much better in the second half as well that foul oh, called oh, on Jones number 11 DJ Jones his third first third foul on Jones and Looks like we'll have another timeout here. I believe that's the call. It is. We have another timeout. Let's take another 60 seconds. Red Ravens up 14. Jordan Wildey at the free throw line when we come back. If you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicalogist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicalogist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicalogist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Braselton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. Red Ravens Red heading Ravens to the free throw the free line. Jordan Wildy will get a pair as we're back here at Nellis Hall. 14-20 to go in this one. Red Ravens lead at 62-48 over Dodge City. Winner gets first place, as we've Red said Ravens throughout the night. The Red Ravens will be back at Nellis Gymnasium 
Saturday, January 28th against Colby, 2 and 4 o'clock. Red Ravens will be back in action here at Nellis on Saturday as they take on the Colby Trojans. First free throw is good from Wildy. Wildy has a second free throw coming here. 14.20 to go, and he got it. 16-point lead for the Ravens as we'll see Dodge bring it up with Jalen Davis. Have not heard Jason Edwards' name much in the second half. But trying to get it back to order Warrior, but it's intercepted by Wildy. Shell, crossover move. Cut off, swings it to Glasper. Johnson the fake. Johnson to Shell, Shell. Finds Johnson, good look for Johnson, and that's a little short. Ravens come up empty on that possession. Here come the Dodge City Conquistadors. This is Davis. Davis extra pass, that's Warrior for three, and that'll go. Sean Warrior, outstanding three-point shooter this season. He's got his second one of the night. Warrior on the year, very good from beyond the arc. This is Wildy down low, no double team has come yet. Man Ray, and Wildy will go right at Man Ray, put it up and in. You're gonna have to double team him, team him in the post. Jordan Wildy does it again. 13 to go, 66-51, Red Ravens. The drive by Jones and foul will be called. That's the second foul tonight on Cam Shell. And the free throw is coming for Jones. First one is good. Some subs here for Dodge City. We'll see the return of Kobe Seabock and Chris Robinson. Jason Edwards will also come in after the second free throw. And Jones able to put it in. Edwards coming in. And Dodge City really needs him to get going if they want to cut into this lead. Red Ravens have led by double digits most of the second half. Shell trying to get it up ahead to Johnson. The pass goes through his hands. It's stolen. And Dodge City gets a turnover. Here comes Robinson. Conks down by 13. They hand it off to Jason Edwards. Extra pass to Manley. And that shot is off. Glass for the rebound. 12 and a half to go. Red Ravens by 13. Here on US 98 and YouTube. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Johnson. Down low to Wildy and a foul is called against Dodge. It'll be called on Cam Mowray. That's a second foul. Shell will inbound. And gets it into Johnson. Johnson. Jackson with the jumper a little long. Wildy on the glass. Wildy goes back up and he's fouled. And that's called on Sean Warrior, his second. So free throws coming for Jordan Wildy. First one is good. Mari Haney checks in for Nate Johnson. We'll also see Javarzie Belton come in if Wildy can hit the second free throw. And Wildy left it short, so Belton will have to wait. 
Edwards the drive, offensive foul taken by Shell. Jason Edwards called for the charge. That's his second foul. Red Raven basketball. They lead it by 14. Shell brings it across the midline. 11.46 to go here tonight. Pass inside to Jackson. Jackson to Glasper, Glasper to Shell. Down low, this is Belton. Belton going right at Tuscan and Noah, goes up, got it! Javarzie Belton, Red Ravens have a 16 point lead. Trying to make a statement to the rest of the Jayhawk tonight and take first place back. As that's good from Seabach. Kobe Seabach's had a nice night. This is Shell. Shell to Glasper. Glasper lets it go for three. That's way off. Glasper trying to say that Edwards got a piece of it, but the officials don't agree. It's Dodge City basketball. Under 11 to go, 69-55. Dodge City trying to come back after trailing by double digits most of the second half. Robinson inside, able to score over Belt. Shell brings it across, 69-57 our score. These two teams, the way they played in the first two matchups, this one far from over. Glasper hands it off to Haney, back to Shell. Shell down low to Belton, double team comes quickly. Good ball movement here by the Ravens. Haney gets it to Glasper. Glasper's floater goes. No, Glasper. Landing Glasper. Just his second shot of the night. That was inside the three-point line, but he gets it to go. The drive by Warrior. He's blocked by Jackson. That is for number 35, Sochi Nath back in for the Red Ravens. Bular back in for Dodge. Ten fifteen to go, 71-57 Red Ravens. Dodge City basketball after the block by Isaac Jackson. They inbound with 23 on the shot clock. Going up there is Seabach and he's blocked by Jackson. And this time it's Red Raven basketball. Fourteen point lead and the ball for the Coffeeville Community College Red Ravens. Top spot in the conference, on the line. Trying to get revenge for coming up short the last time. Sodi for three, you bet! Their largest lead of the night. Seabot blocked by Belton and a foul is called. Herkelman can't believe it. Media timeout here inside Nellis Hall. 9.47 to go. Ravens with their largest lead of the night, 74-57. Dodge City will have some free throws when we come back. Back in 60 seconds on KUSN. Want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons? Coffeeville Community College can help, and CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeeville.edu. We are Coffeeville Community College. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Red Ravens, Red up Ravens 17, up. their largest lead of the night. And they have free throws coming up for Dodge out of the timeout as Seabach was fouled by Javarzie Belton, supposedly. 
safe to say the Red Raven coaching staff didn't like that call, but Ravens by 17, big part of it. 19 points from Glasper, 18 from Cam Shell. And also 14 now from Jordan Wildey. First free throw missed by Seabach. Seabach leads Dodge tonight with 14. After having 37 in the first game, Jason Edwards just 12 points tonight. And Seabach misses them both. Here comes Cam Shell. Ravens can taste the top spot in the Jayhawk. They lead by 17, nine and a half to go. Shell, no lead is safe in the Jayhawk. Jackson down low and one. Isaac, Isaac Jackson. Jackson. Ravens all the momentum and the crowd loves it. Assisted by Cam Shell. A chance to go up by 20. His third personal foul. And Jackson puts it up and in. Dodge City down by 20. Their top spot. They're thrown on the line. Jones. The drive by Robinson. Tough shot and it goes. That's Chris Robinson, Robinson, remarkable finish inside. Nine minutes to go. Shell brings it up. 77-59, Red Ravens. Haney. Haney hands it off to Shell. Shell to Amari Haney. And now Haney. And stepped on the line there to Jody Not Coyotes. That's a turnover. Sean Warrior will check back in for Tuscan Anoa. Dodge City down 18, needing to chip away Robinson again, and this time he's fouled. That's on. That's on Belton, his third. First free throw is good. Bringing him back in and for Belton. One more free throw coming, 77-60. Been a nice night for Chris Robinson. He's now got 13 points. Robinson's second free throw is good. Very talented sophomore out of Brooklyn, New York is Chris Robinson. 16 point lead for the Coffeeville Community College Red Ravens. US 98 and YouTube, the place to be tonight here for Red Raven basketball. The drive, the kick, Brittingham. And that's gonna be another foul. It's just not Hayden Brittingham's night. As he's called for his fourth. And this time they're just gonna leave Hayden out there with 8.25 to go. Frustrating night for Hayden Brittingham. He's only played about 10 minutes. Has not scored yet. Extra pass, Pular for three, that is off. And Seabach out jumped by Isaac Jackson for the rebound. Here's Cam Shell. Eight minutes to go, 16 point lead. Shell, Brittingham. Now Sodi with it. Backs it up, guarded by Boular. Sodi driving, Sodi kicking, and Brittingham the drive. Brittingham goes up, kicks it to Haney. Haney, good look for three, that's off. Rebound taken by Kobe Seabach. Seven minutes, 41 seconds left. The drive all the way inside by Jones, he missed it. Warrior on the glass, no. Foul was called. And that'll be on Sodi Noff Poyotis. Jason Edwards moving to the scorer's table. He'll come back in. His team down 16, but Sean Warrior will get free throws. First one is good from Warrior. Jason Edwards. 
Jason Edwards has been held to just 12 points tonight. He had 37 in the first one. As Warriors splits the pair, 15 point lead for the Red Ravens, but Dodge has scored the last five points. Brittingham. Trying to get it to Haney. Now Brittingham needing to find a pass. He gets it to Shell. 10 to shoot for the Ravens. Haney down low. This is Brittingham. Brittingham kicks to Haney. Haney the hop step. Haney goes up. No, but a foul called late. And Jackson stuffed the putback, but it won't count. And the foul was called on Warrior. Haney thought he should have had an hand one. Two free throws coming for Haney. Haney at the line now for his free throw up and good. Haney out of Charlotte, North Carolina has gotten better and better as the year has gone on. Now just a such a reliable piece for Jay Herkelman off the bench. Second free throw for Haney is good. We're about to go under seven minutes left. 79-62, Red Ravens lead it. And now coming the other way is Dodge. And this is Jones. Jones with it, guarded by Sodi. Jones looking to get a pass. Jones swings it right. This is Edwards going right at Shell. Edwards goes up, tough shot. Left it short. Seabach able to pull down a rebound. Goes back up, no good. Rebound Brittingham. And the Ravens get a stop. Here's Shell, hands it off to Haney. Haney swings it to Sodi, nice pump fake. Sodi the drive, Sodi kicks. This is Brittingham back to Sodi for three. And in and out. Wanted a foul as he wasn't able to land, but no foul called. Warrior called, and a foul will be called against the Red Ravens. 6.18 to go. And that's on Amari Haney. And now, for the rest of the night, Dodge City in the bonus. Six eighteen to go. Ravens lead it by seventeen. They've had a lead as large as twenty. Nate Johnson will about, will try to check in if his first free throw is good, and it's off. So Johnson off the weight, bringing him the rebound. Here comes Cam Shell. Shell works it to Haney. Haney the drive. Haney, no good. Fight for the rebound. Jones comes away with it, and Haney called for another foul. Haney can't believe it. And Glasper will come in for Haney. Haney now has three fouls. Six minutes, six seconds to go. Back at the free throw line now are the Dodge City Conquistadors. Last one and one. They will have two shots the rest of the way. That one is good by DJ Jones. Sophomore out of Chicago is Jones. On the year, Jones putting up about 11 points per game. And he's got two free throws here. Number four, Jordan Wilde. Wilde will come back in, in for Isaac Jackson. And we have, we're about to go under six minutes to go. 15 point lead for the Red Ravens. And that one is poked. And Sodi will be called for a foul going up again. So we saw Dodge City chip away and force overtime and the first time these two teams matched up and now after trailing by 20 just a few moments ago here they come again Robinson at the line first one short Chris Robinson on the season about a 56% free throw shooter. This is one of the few areas of his game he struggles at, but he hits the second. 79-65 the score. And thrown away again. Ravens turn it over, but they get it right back. Here comes Glasper. He had Wildey wide open. He missed it. 
And a foul will be called against Dodge. Foul is called on Dodge City, number 11, DJ Jones. His fourth personal foul. Nineteenth foul. Shooting for Cockerville, Lando Glasper. It'll be Glasper at the line now. Glasper's first free throw is good. Second free throw coming here for Landon Glasper. It is up and it is good as well. 81-65 our score, 5.49 to go. The drive and tipped away from Edwards momentarily. They get it back. Jones, a floater in the lane. That'll go. DJ Jones. Dodge City's offense starting to pick up the pace. Five and a half to go. Dodge knowing they need to score almost every time they touch the ball. Here's Glasper. Still a 14-point lead for the Red Ravens, but got to keep the foot on the gas. Got to put this team away. That's a lesson they learned the hard way the first time these two teams played. Here's Wildy. Wildy attacking Seabock, and he's fouled. Kobe Seabock will be called for the foul. Wildy will go to the line. That's the first foul of the night on Seabock. 5.19 to go. Jordan Wildy free throws coming for the 6'9 sophomore from Rock Hill, South Carolina. First one is good. And Wildy, two big free throws as well. Ravens have been able to knock down some free throws in the second half. That's something they could not do in game one. Jones, the drive, had it stripped, taken by Johnson. 16-point lead for the Ravens. They come the other way. Johnson hands it off to Sody. Sody for three. Good! Big shot now, Cleotis. 19-point lead with 4.52 to go. Robinson with it now, top of the key. Robinson. Switch on, Wildy on him. Brittingham contests, but the shot is good for Chris Robinson. Glasper up ahead to Nate Johnson. Johnson now with it, hands it off to Glasper. Under four and a half to go, 17 point lead for the Red Ravens. Four and a half minutes away from potentially taking first place over from this Dodge City team. Wildy goes right at Seabock, no! But Brittingham! That's a way to get your first points of the night. Other way, quick finish by Warrior. 88-71, 4.05 to go. Johnson. Johnson defended by Edwards. Hands, fakes the hand off to Glasper. Now gives it to Glasper. Glasper's tough shot. Good. Landon Glasper. Big time shot in the corner. They mark it as a two for now. Robinson inside and one. Back and forth they go. And that's going to be on Sodi Napriotis. Final media timeout of the night. 3.41 to go. Our score, Red Ravens 90. And Dodge City 73. We've got a good finish coming up from Nellis. Don't go anywhere. We're back in 60 seconds. Someone who has been caught in an out-of-town online mortgage trap? Online mortgage companies are easy to apply with and send your money to. But too often, your financing hasn't arrived by the time you need it, and there's no one available to answer your questions. Applying for a home loan online with Community State Bank is just as simple as the out-of-town online mortgage company. Plus, we're always available to answer any questions and have your money ready when you need it. Visit OurLocalBank.com to apply anytime time, day, or night. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicalogist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, 
adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at Medicalogist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicalogist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives Red of Ravens others fans, with caring sure hands. Join us on January 28th, that's a Saturday. When the Red Wolf Ravens have delivered in a big-time game and a right big-time moment. They lead it by 17 with 341 to go, looking to put away Dodge City and take back first place in the Jayhawk. I'm Shane Neal, US 98, and YouTube, the place to be tonight, KUSN YouTube channel. If you're wanting to check the tail end of the game on video, Chris Robinson at the line for a free throw here after an and one going into that timeout, and the free throw is good. So 90 to 74 now, and Thank we'll see the return Jaylen of Jalen Davis. It'll be Wildy to inbound, and he gets it into Glasper. Glasper now up to 23 points tonight. He's hit five three-point shots. And Glasper will go to the free throw line now after a foul called there. Foul is called on Dodge City, number five, Darren Tuck, the second, his first personal foul. That foul was called on Darren Tuck. Tuck, a 6'4 freshman out of Piscataway, New Jersey. And Glasper knocks down the first one. Second free throw to come. Glasper now three of three at the line today. Ravens now 19 of 23 at the line today. Make it 20 of 24. They have corrected that mistake from game one. Drive, finish inside. Nice score by Jayshon Jones. Dodge City will not go quietly into the Coffeyville night. Hayden Brittingham with it now. Brittingham was in foul trouble all night. He's been able to play the last five minutes or so. But he's playing with four fouls. Screen there. Drive by Shell. The kick to Glasper. Glasper hands it off to Johnson. Eight to shoot. Johnson to Shell. Shell down low to Brittingham. Brittingham will attack. Brittingham will go up. And he draws contact with 2.54 to go. That was called on Dodge City's number three, Jalen Davis. His second personal foul. Shooting for Coffeeville, Hayden Brittingham. Hayden Brittingham will go to the free throw line. The, technically a freshman out of Fort Worth, but he has played a year here at Coffeeville. He's also made a trip to the D1 level before coming back here to the Red Ravens. Brittingham knocks down the first, second one up and off. A couple seconds will tick as Dodge City brings it up, 2.47 to go now, 93-76, Red Ravens the lead. Dodge City running out of time. And Brittingham nearly picked that pass. Down low they go, Tuscan and Noah had it poked, but a reach in foul the call. 2.36 to go, foul was called on Wildy. Foul is called on Coffee Bills number four, Jordan Wildy, his first personal foul. First foul of the night for Wildy. Anoa shooting for Dodge City. And Tuscan Anoa will go to the free throw line here for Dodge City. Anoa on the season, a 68% free throw shooter. First one way off. Tuscan Anoa, a freshman out of Sydney, Australia, six foot 11. And he misses them both. Rebound, Glasper. Here come the Ravens the other way. 17-point lead. Maybe just a couple scores away from wrapping this one up. But there, Johnson throws it away. Jayshon Jones coming the other way. Jones hands it off to Anoa. Bridding him with the chase down block. Second chance bucket, no good from Davis. Rebound, Johnson. We're about to go down to two minutes to go. Ravens with a 17-point lead. They can taste First place in the Jayhawk. Hayden Brittingham lost the ball inside. Jones with another takeaway. Here comes Dodge the other way. Poked briefly by Brittingham. Jones the floater, it's short. And Jones got it back, kick out. And a shot in the corner there from Bular is off. Rebound taken by the Ravens and Glasper. Timeout. Timeout called by Jay Herkelman. A minute 42 to go. Red Ravens looking like they're going to move back 
to the top of the conference. We'll step away for 60 seconds. We'll be right back on US 98. Our primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock parts. Red Raven basketball, minute and a half to go. They lead it by 17. Brittingham with it, hands it off to Glassford. Red Raven's just trying to dwindle some clock as first place is in their near future in the Jayhawk. The kick, Glassford a three, and not that time. And it'll be over the backboard and out of bounds to Dodge, a minute 15 to go. Dodge City does have their reserves in, so it looks like Dodge has conceded this one here at Nellis Hall. Red Ravens will get to 11 and four in conference play and now stand alone atop the Jayhawk. Dodge City will lose their third straight game and fall to 10 and four in conference play. Ravens now also will be 17 and four overall this season. One minute left. Davis the drive, the kick and no one was home. Turnover by Dodge City. And it uh, looks like a carry is called there by on Glasper. So with 50 seconds left, it'll go right back to Dodge. A little bit of sloppy play here in the final minutes. Uh, I'm sure Jay Herkelman is a little irritated with, but his team will be back at the top of the Jayhawk for this matchup with Colby on Saturday. As this is Davis. Davis hands it off to Tuck. Tuck back to Davis. Shot blocked by Wildy. Davis able to recover. That pass deflected off of Wildy. It ends up inside. And Tuscan and Noah able to lay it in with 34 seconds to go. This will be the final possession of the night for the Red Ravens. About four seconds separates shot clock and game clock. Landon Glasper. And this is Glasper. Glasper guarded by Davis. And that'll be finally called a foul with 13.9 to go. Foul was on Jalen Davis, the freshman out of Montreal. Glasper's first free throw is good. Cam Shell, what a night for Cam Shell. 18 points. Second free throw for Glasper is off. Rebound taken by Dodge. This could be the final possession of the night. Seven seconds to go. And it looks like they will just dribble it out. Maybe one final shot. Brittingham pokes it, but that'll do it. Red Ravens, the kings of the Jayhawk again. 94-78 the final. Coffeeville will have a chance to defend first place on Saturday against Colby. Let's step away for three minutes. We'll have final stats coming up. We'll also be joined in just a few by a member of the coaching staff as well. Ravens win. Ravens in first. In the Jayhawk, we're back in three right here on US 98.
ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons. Coffeeville Community College can help, and CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting, fast eight-week classes, or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeeville.edu. We are Coffeeville Community College. You can count on US 98 for severe weather coverage. When a storm is getting ready to blow in, we'll keep you up to date. That includes closings and cancellations due to winter weather. Schools, businesses, and events will let you know when they're canceled or postponed due to winter storms. Severe weather coverage, along with closings and cancellations, are brought to you by Eck Heat and Air and H&H Roofing. Here on KUSN 98.1 FM. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Have you or do you know someone who has been caught in an out-of-town online mortgage trap? Online mortgage companies are easy to apply with and send your money to, but too often your financing hasn't arrived by the time you need it and there's no one available to answer your questions. Applying for a home loan online with Community State Bank is just as simple as the out-of-town online mortgage company. Plus, we're always available to answer any questions and have your money ready when you need it. Visit OurLocalBank.com to apply any time, day or night. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicalogist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicalogist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicalogist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin in Butler, Missouri. Red Ravens win it 94 78, the final here from Nellis Hall. I'm Shane Neal. Red Ravens moved to 17 and 4 on the season, now 11 and 4 in conference play. They stand at the top of the Jayhawk, and Dodge City falls to 14 and 6 and 10 and 4 in conference play. So the Red Ravens in first place as we head to the weekend, a matchup with the Colby Trojans coming up on Saturday afternoon. Final stats here tonight. For both teams, Dodge City shoots 40% from the floor, 14% from three, and 67% from the line. Red Ravens 52% from the field, 41% from three, 78% from the line. Ravens able to do not win the rebound battle tonight. That was one of the things Dodge City did well. They do win the rebound battle there, 44 to 35. Uh, 21 or 13 assists, excuse me, for the Red Ravens. Six for Dodge. We have 15 turnovers for Coffeyville. 12 for the Conquistadors. Leading scores for both teams for Dodge City. 20 points for Chris Robinson. 14 for Kobe Seabach, and 12 points for Jason Edwards. Much different than the 37 we saw in Game One for the Red Ravens. 26 from Landon Glasper tonight. 18 from Cam Shell, and 16 from Jordan Wilde. Again, the Ravens win at 94-78. They are now atop the Jayhawk at 17-4. and four. Big shout-out to our sponsors tonight, Derail Commodity, Coffeeville Community College, as well as Romans Outdoor Power, Community State Bank, Medical Lodge, and Coffeeville Regional Medical Center. We're going to step away here for about four minutes. When we come back, we're going to be joined by a member of the coaching staff, and we're going to say goodnight from Nellis Hall. So make sure you stay tuned. The 
Red Raven Post Game Show continues after this. Forward. That's what Coffeeville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, Coffeeville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeeville.edu. We are Coffeeville Community College. Paid for by Christian Care Ministry. Let's see, if something costs less, but people are happier with it, that sounds like something to look into, and that's MediShare. Maybe you've heard switching to MediShare to pay for health care can save the typical family 500 bucks a month, and that's huge. But it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch, too. The customer satisfaction rate for MediShare is double that of the typical health insurance plan. MediShare works. It's been around for more than a quarter century, and members have shared more than $3 billion of each other's bills. People love having telehealth and a huge nationwide PPO network. So, yeah, you can save a ton and like it better. Imagine being happy with how you're taking care of your health care. So if you're self-employed or part of the gig economy or you just want a plan you're happy with, you can call right now and get a price within two minutes. A very, very smart use of two minutes. Here's the number you need. 855-51-BIBLE. That's 855-51-BIBLE. 855-51-BIBLE. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Roman's Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Does your business need radio communications facilities? KCD Towers has tower space available. They can meet your needs in Chautauqua, Montgomery, and Labette counties in southeast Kansas, and Osage, Washington, and Nowata counties in northeast Oklahoma with expanded coverage across the area. Tower space for cellular or two-way communications? Let's talk. Call Kevin Potter, 918-336-1001, or go online to BartlesvilleRadio.com and click on Rent Tower Space under the Contact tab. Start your communications outreach today. Have you or do you know someone who has been caught in an out-of-town online mortgage trap? Online mortgage companies are easy to apply with and send your money to. But too often, your financing hasn't arrived by the time you need it, and there's no one available to answer your questions. Applying for a home loan online with Community State Bank is just as simple as the out-of-town online mortgage company. Plus, we're always available to answer any questions and have your money ready when you need it. Visit OurLocalBank.com to apply any time, day or night. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Ninety-four seventy-eight. our final here tonight from Nellis Hall. Red Ravens now atop the Jayhawk once again, 17-4 and four on the season. I'm joined by assistant coach Jake Odom. Coach, thanks so much for the time. Congrats on the big win. And as Jay Herkelman told me a little bit yesterday, uh, this almost kind of felt like a not a payback game, but, you know, a, a redemption game for you because it felt like you really should have had that first one. But tonight came out and uh, left no doubt. Yeah, I mean, anytime you take a loss um, to the to the team early in the year, um, you always want to kind of get, get back at them, and especially for, you know, where it kind of puts us in the rankings right now. And, um they're a really good team, so we knew they were going to bring it. And, um, you know, we were a little upset losing overtime at third place, so we wanted to come out and, um, you know, get the win tonight. Coach, something that really uh, cost your team in the first game was missed free throws. Tonight, 22 of 28, 79%, much better in that department. Uh, that, that played a huge role. Yeah. Um, I think anybody that's followed us this year understands that the games that we've lost, we've struggled from the free throw line. So um, it's something we work at every day. Um, so that's encouraging to see. Um, 78%, um, we'll take that every game. Absolutely. Coach, a guy that was just so, so good tonight, so rock solid, as Jay Herkelman's told me at points this year, just such a consistent, solid player. Cam Shell, not usually a scorer, more of a pass-first facilitator kind of guard, but tonight he showed he can score when he needs to. Didn't miss a shot from the field tonight, had 18 points. He was sensational. Yeah, he had a great game. Um, 
He's such a tough kid, too. Um, when things get tough, he steps up for us. You know, he's he's a leader on the floor like a point guard should be. And, um, you know, he did, he did his job tonight. Um, uh, we're just glad that he was able to get back in after that little injury with his ankle or foot, whatever it was, and that it looks like he's going to be okay. But, but yeah, he, he's been um, – He's been great for us all year, and um, he's really gotten better. And, Coach, last time you played against Dodge City, one of the best scorers in the conference, Jason Edwards, had 37 points. Tonight you hold him to 12 on 5 of 12 shooting. What did you uh, What did you and Coach Herkelman and Coach uh, Olusese talk to the defense about to try and slow down Jason Edwards tonight? I mean, just, just understanding his tendencies. Um, you know, he scored in every which way against us the first game. Um, but we fouled him and got to the line. He got he shot 13 free throws the first game, so it's really good to see he only got two tonight. That was one of our points of emphasis, you know, make him score over you. But, yeah, that, that kid's a great player. Um, he's tough. Um, so keeping him to 12 is a, it's a team effort. You know, we did a really good job on him, multiple people guarding him. We were in the gaps. Um, so that's, that's, that's big for us um, to be able to hold him to 12 points. Absolutely. A big-time win here in front of the home crowd. Coach Jake Odom, good enough to join me. Coach, thanks so much for the time, and we'll see you Saturday for the Colby game. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks to Andrew Elrod and his team up top tonight helping us out with the video feed. Thanks to Nick Bryan back in the studio for his help keeping us on air as well. I'm Shane Neal. Until next time from Nellis Hall saying so long. Red Ravens win it 94-78. to 78. Have a great rest of your night.